the city lights. All this doubt around me, then but look, I got it right. Don't you try to hit me, now you live a petty life. All those nights I laid awake, I pray for better life. Now I wake up with a better Hello everyone, so we have now boarded our flight, um, which is Cathay Pacific, so now we're going to Hong Kong, we have a layover there for two and a half hours and from there we're going to go to Sydney, so... A few moments later... So before anyone else falls asleep, let me give you a bit of context. So we went to Australia for three weeks and our first destination was Sydney where we saw the vivid lights. After which we went to Melbourne and stayed there for four days at my friend's house. Then we went to Perth, which was an amazing place. And then lastly, we again came back to Sydney where we saw the snowy mountains and spent a crazy amount of time with family. And trust me, this trip was planned so suddenly. We didn't know we were going until we knew we were going and things worked out. Summer rain on a window Watch the time float on Cool air blows a memento As I fall Um, we have finally reached my Chacha's place in Sydney and I still can't believe we are in Sydney. It was like a long lost dream of mine to come here, Sydney, Australia. Today we're just going to go out and see the vivid lights because today is the last day. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. So right now it's currently 4.15 and we're going to go to the airport because our flight is at 7 and it takes like about an hour to go. So, mommy dad and just made coffee and we're all set to go to Melbourne, if I didn't mention. Journeys, they're always so wonderful and the butterflies you get in your stomach before traveling is just insane. There is so much excitement, curiosity, fun and adventure involved in the whole process. But again, in every journey, there is always ups and downs. Our flight to Melbourne was at 7, but the moment we reached the airport, we got to know that it actually was cancelled. So precisely this is the next day we were travelling, since we couldn't go. But nevertheless, we made it to Melbourne. And I'm so grateful to my friend and her mom, with whom we could stay for the next four days. Her farmhouse was gorgeous and in the suburbs. It was on the outskirts of Melbourne, but utterly beautiful and breathtaking. Afraid. 
just to say a hello hey. Or to pick up the phone just to say what is up Okay, so I actually saw Lost Lebrides Around the world Melbourne So, traveled to so it, far, my personal favorite in Vancouver Hers so I just is on a cruise ship And, and Rachel is saying this is the best hot chocolate in Melbourne At Coco Black So we're going to try it out Maybe we'll have a new fish Good. That's really good. Listen, yeah. <laughs> All the dumb things we did when we were only little children. Up in the hills smoking cigarillos, waiting on a vision of what our life would be like if we were dreaming and together we were wishing. Cause now I'm living in the city and you're back home. And all I'm doing is I'm singing. Yes, I'm singing. Oh, I don't feel how I used to. So hello everyone, I'm finally in Melbourne city and this is what it looks like. So currently we are just sitting in the park and today we actually saw the CBD which is a central business district and it has like a lot of cafes, restaurants, markets and stuff so it was really fun and then we just walked around the city. everyone good morning so today is our day two of melbourne travel so today we're actually gonna see a toy train around we were meant to go to the yara valley but i don't think we'll be able to go there but we're actually gonna go to another toy train area which is super nice and so yeah i'm excited to show you guys around honestly traveling is really enchanting more so because it makes you step into the unknown it kind of forces you to break past the uncertainties and look beyond and sometimes beyond is just so much more beautiful than you ever imagined. And that's the same with our fears. If we never look on the other side, we are never going to know what mysteries and new paths lie beyond the mountain. And you are just always one step away from making the choice of moving past your doubts or staying in the same pattern of life. And this trip for me was kind of stepping into the unknown. I made so many amazing memories and traveled to such beautiful places just because I took the first step. I have never really been on a vacation like this. Traveling in the past was always to go around playing tournaments, but this time the intention was different. The intention was to learn, feed my curiosity, bond with family members, and see how things happen on the other side. And lastly, get to know myself on a deeper level. Traveling makes you so much more aware of yourself because you're not in the same environment. You have always been your life. But instead, you step into the unknown and that's the beauty of the whole experience. Good morning. This is apparently the day three of our Melbourne travel. We are gonna actually see the Great Ocean Road, 12 Apostles, and probably Koala and some other things. So it's a full day back, but so excited to see all that. So, oh, yeah. So <laughs> behind me is the ocean there. Honestly, it can get a bit tiring as well. I mean, I used to watch these traveling blogs of YouTubers going to these breathtaking places, but never knew how tiring it can get. Like I was dozing off a million times on the bus tour because I was exhausted. But again, these memorable moments with the people you enjoy the most is always rewarding. It can all be very daunting, 
but hey life is all about stepping outside the comfort zone life takes us on such different journeys that if it were up to us we would have never taken so just trust have faith and things will always work out the way they were meant to and even if it doesn't that's still okay because what matters is that you tried everything has its own beauty and fragrance and i guess life is all about being a bit crazy as well i mean you've got this one existence so might as well make it the most exciting adventurous splendid crazy and satisfying to your soul cuz who knows when you're going to get the next chance So mom how are you feeling walking in the rainforest of Australia I'm feeling like a rainforest myself <laughs> But honestly this place is so beautiful and so peaceful These four days in Melbourne were just magical. From seeing the city life to watching the magnificent Great Ocean Road and rainforest, it was all thoroughly enjoyed. And I truly hope you got to experience a part of it as well. So if you guys made it till the very end, then I'm so grateful that you stayed. Thank you so much for being here, and hope you stay safe and take care of yourself. Also, do come back to watch the second part if you enjoyed this one.